Good afternoon, guys. How's it going? Does any of this look familiar? If it does, you've been watching for a while. If it does not, this is the same location of my very first exploration video. I came here almost a year ago now, probably close to 11 months or so. I had been vlogging for a very short period of time and then I came here, but I'm not alone today. I'm here with a special guest. Come on over. Journey with Jay is here with How's me today. We're going to uh, take a look through the Ewan machine shop. Let's see what's changed and uh, what's still the same. The very first thing I wanted to see if it was still here is this bike. I remember this hanging the first time I went to explore. There were definitely some kids here smoking blunts. There's a whole bunch of... There's actually a cigar left in that one. But you could see they dumped all the tobacco out, so they were smoking weed. Now the section of building we're standing in right now, uh, from what I gather, it was potentially built in the 1930s, but being cinder block construction, I feel like this was probably older, like the 60s or 70s. Most of this is still the same. That was me walking into something from the last time I was here. The roof, still intact in this section of building, but someone was definitely skating here. This is a little grind box. They put some angle iron on there. And we're using this probably to do board slides. Now, on the first video I did, someone commented and told me this whole room at one point was actually filled up with ramps. They had a whole DIY skate park in here. So these two little scraps that are on the floor are just like remnants of what used to be here. But this room is probably, if I remember correctly, the only section that really still has a roof. The further we go this way, you'll see that the roof is either falling down or completely gone. Again, this is the newer part of the building being built anywhere between the 1930s to the 1970s. The noise you hear is an air show. There's an airport about four miles that away. And this is the first air show in 17 years. This room is pretty long. There's what appear to be four single bay doors. And then this one here is a little bit wider. I wouldn't necessarily call it a double bay, but maybe it is. Maybe it's as wide as two of them. But this would be the machine shop section of the building. Just check out some of this graffiti here. You can see we're moving into the older section where all the brick is. Jay getting daring. <laughs> now the floor is a mess. It's littered with bricks, broken cinder block. It's got a lot of trash. It's definitely a kid's party area. Pile of rubble from this wall falling down. Right here is the safe room that I missed last time. We're gonna work our way around and get into that room in a few minutes here. How's the view from up there? Pretty cool. What's the roof look like? It's solid, it's solid cement. All right, I think I'm gonna try it. We've made it up onto the roof, not gonna lie. Someone climbed up like a ninja. <laughs> I was pretty scared. So getting down, it's gonna be pretty frightening for me. But JP, Watch this. I did it. There's a look at the roof that we were standing under. A lot of debris. Probably kids throwing bricks up there to listen to the big sound of the boom. There's the room we came from. We're currently standing on top of the safe room. You notice it, it goes on an angle? Yeah, it goes and it bends to the left. <laughs> I don't know if I'm catching it with my lens because it's not a long lens, but... Yeah, it's like it snakes. 
That is really weird. I'm really scared. I don't have a choice, I gotta get down, but I'm frightened. Like all this is loose. <laughs> My paws are sweating. <laughs> Just look where your feet is, not the, de uh, the depth of going down. What's falling? Okay, that's you? Yes. <laughs> All right, I got scared. That's something I was trying to stand on was about to fall. There you go. That wasn't as bad. I was really scared. That was that was frightening. All right. Oh, success. <laughs> Thank you, Jay. Yep. I wasn't even joking. I was terrified. That was that was frightening. That's where we were just hanging out. All right. Oh God. I'm gonna walk across this. The safe room is right over here. Let's watch all the nails. Oh, went down. Luckily we're not on the roof anymore. All right. This is the safe room. Nothing left in here except for uh, dime and some cigarellos that kids were smoking blunts on. There's the hole we peeked through before. Someone uh, knocked through. It looks like it was... Can't tell if that's concrete or just plaster. Oh, that's concrete, I think. Yeah, that's concrete. So they had concrete lined walls over the brick, at least on that section. You can see here it's just brick. Would have stored all of the maps for the mine shafts and tunnels and probably any other paperwork that was related to the colliery at the time. Looks like there's a rail system up here, so they probably had a ladder that would have tracked on that, like the old libraries. You can see here's the, uh... that's not solid, but frame, solid steel. Looks like they did some more concrete on this side too. Not a very big space, but I guess this is all they needed. Jay just brought up a good point. The uh, walls are so thick and also lined with concrete that probably helped to make that room fireproof to also better protect any of the important documents that were stored inside that room. Ugh. This is the room we climbed up from in here. This is what most of the floor looks like throughout the rest of the building. And that's where we were earlier. This is where we really start to lose the roof and the rest of the building. I don't know if this the room is larger or the other one that we we're in, the machine shop, but both of these are the largest rooms in this whole complex here. This system here in the middle of the tracks would have moved back and forth across the room, probably to uh, load up vehicles with whatever uh, they needed to be loaded up with. And you can see there's still a cart up there attached to the top of that center piece. I don't know if the lens is going to zoom far enough. That says Maris Brothers, Philadelphia, capacity eight tons. Uh, can't read the middle. Something Maxwell and more New York City. The wall here says something. Let's see if we can read it. I think it's S-N-E-T. Is that a B? 
or an R, B, A, K, E, R. So it's something bake. Snet bake? Maybe it's an acronym for something. Is this little area here? The last time I visited, I had no idea what it was, and I commented on why there was a big hole in literally the middle of this room. I've since found out this was actually an elevator that would take you up to the second floor. Since there's no tracks on either side up here, I take it this side would have been storage or offices or something on the second story, as opposed to this side being for actual machinery. One of the really cool things you could see is when that roof came down, it actually bent the I-beams. The steel itself is bent straight down. And all of this rubble here is what's left of the roof. And the further we get on the other side, there's gonna be a lot more brick from the roof of the next section of the building that came down. Look at this beam. I can literally see. Oh, what? I can't. I can literally see it comes down, it bends up there, and then bends again and again. It's like a roller coaster track. Old wooden roof. Look at that, look how bent. Sorry for the shakiness, this is what I'm walking on. Look, right here, this piece of metal. It comes down, it just bends. And then it's twisted right here, it bends some more. Another piece right here, just totally bent the sheer weight another piece right there you can kind of see it's it's almost twisted right in the middle and crushed crazy and then the mother nature is just taking it all back all the trees and weeds are just growing through and around, just reclaiming what they used to already own. Mother Nature definitely takes her toll on man. And this really drives that fact home, that we as people are very small in this world. When we build massive structures that we think will last forever, eventually Mother Nature just takes it all back. All right, this section here, this is where the quarter pipe was built. That's me, stepping on a bottle. It's the little DIY skate park section, taking a beer can. Someone uh, left their backpack here. All right, this graffiti is definitely all changed. The last time I was here, it was actually, over in this corner, it was like a man, like a chef's hat or something. I wonder if he's still behind any of this. I believe he was right over here in the corner. He's probably completely covered up. They just had googly eyes and other things. Over yeah, there. I saw there's pictures up on the wall. Muppets. Oh yeah, it's all the same guy. I forget his name though. And, and, and except for the girl with the ski mask. Mm -hmm. And the Terminator. <laughs> Let's see in here, there was a, uh, right in here the last time I was here, there was a, a kicker was built out of concrete and, and bricks right here. There it is, it might be. Yep, that's it, that's the rest of it. This, uh, this concrete mess here was a little kicker ramp that used to sit right about in here somewhere. And I don't remember, but at some point there was apparently a, an old homeless woman was living in here. I can't remember if last time I was here the bedding was on the floor. I know there was um, some sleeping bags and stuff and I'm pretty sure that was in this room here. 
Here's another part of that kicker. I guess we have to leave. We just came for all this. We try to get over to the uh, the other buildings where I started last time. We try to get from the other side of the building, but it was literally just a sea of thorn bushes and spider webs. So we chose to try a different way. And now, building I was not in, which doesn't look like there's much here, but we are, so we're going in. Yeah, it's not that dark in here. Some graffiti, nothing overly wowing. Some old metal roof that's half gone. A journey with Jay. Hole in the wall for no reason, because there's a door. One thing you should know about me is when I see a mattress laying on the ground, I immediately think bed bugs. I don't go near them. So if there's a hole in the wall, we'll get in that one. But if not, I'm not touching those mattresses. A hole on this side does not appear to be a hole large enough for a human so you can uh, admire it from here because I'm not going in here's the front of the building That's where I stashed my skateboard the last time I was here again with mother nature retaking the building there's a huge tree growing a square up in the middle of this room Roots all knocked down. Nothing but weeds. Most of this building looks like this. See what I was saying with uh, We're these rooms? In a room here. <laughs> We're indoors. There's where the roof used to be. There's I beams going across and big tree going right between them. Most of the rest, the rest of this building looks just like this. The last room's kind of cool because the I beams are all bent and twisted, but I don't think we're gonna actually be able to get into it without tearing ourselves up going through all the thorn bushes. So probably not gonna get through it today. Well, there you have it. That was the second tour of the Ewan machine shop from the Ewan Colliery. Make sure you check out the link in the description below to check out Journey with Jay's side of this story because it's always awesome to see the same location from two different perspectives. There's always gonna be something that I miss that he's gonna catch and vice versa. So definitely, Go below and check out that link and uh, have a great day and I'll see you on the next one. Good night. I'm really scared. I don't have a choice, I gotta get down, but I'm frightened. Take all this, loose. <laughs>